All right, today we're gonna make a basic paper airplane like I did when I was a kid. So what we do is we fold it hot dog style, so long ways. And we wanna make nice crisp lines. So use your fingernail or something to make that really crisp. Then we unfold it and we're gonna fold the triangles down. And again, nice crisp lines. So when we fold the edges down, we're kind of making the shape of the nose of the plane. And then when I was a kid, I always folded this down again. So I'm gonna fold that down again. Again, get a nice crisp line. So we kind of have the basic shape of our airplane when we fold it together. Now it's up to you on what you want to do with your wings. You, you can kind of experiment and you can see if it helps to have longer wings, shorter wings, just little wings up here. Up to you. I'm going to fold mine kind of flush with the edge there. But again, you should experiment and see what is the best type of wing to do. And my challenge for you today is going to involve not only throwing this paper airplane, but what happens when you put cargo, cargo on it? Because airplanes, you know, carry people and they carry supplies and boxes and luggage. And so we wanna know what happens when we put weight on this plane. So you're gonna have two pennies that you have to tape onto your plane somewhere. And you need to decide if you're gonna tape them here, if you're gonna tape them on the bottom, if you're gonna tape them on the back, and what's gonna make this airplane fly the farthest uh, distance. So kind of compete with your um, family members and see if one of you guys or all of you can get it to go um, further than 48 inches. All right, good luck. Today's challenge is to build a paper airplane and actually have cargo, so have some kind of weight to it. Um, so some of you know how to make a great paper airplane that can fly, uh, fly really far, but what happens when you add these pennies to it? Um, I want you to use different types of paper. I want you to kind of experiment. I want you to think about some different shapes. There's a lots of uh, things online where you can look up ways to fold your pieces of paper. And I want you to try to throw it at least 48 inches um, with two pennies taped to it. And if you're older, and you want to try an additional challenge, try four pennies and try to go 60 inches. Um, so you get paper, tape, and two to four pennies. Good luck.